Today we're finishing up our heat pump installation project. We have a Mitsubishi IntelliHeat coil system running right now. Our guys are cleaning up. We're gonna go take a look in more detail. It's about a 2600 square feet home in Gurney. We have our Mitsubishi P-Series heat pump and our gas furnace and IntelliHeat coil inside. We're gonna take a look in more detail right now. So here's our Mitsubishi heat pump. We have a PUZ A36, it's a 3-ton P-Series heat pump connected to an IntelliHeat coil system. We're gonna take a look at that next inside. But this just replaced an oversized air conditioner they had. It was three and a half ton. All that was needed for this building was a three ton, which is what this is. So it's an inverter variable speed heat pump. So being a heat pump, not only is gonna be doing the cooling, but it's also gonna be heating our building. It's running in heating mode right now. Extremely quiet operation down to around 50 decibels. The average air conditioning is around 75 decibels. So can barely hear the unit, uh, the wind, it's more audible than the unit right now, but it's currently running in heating mode. It's running at very low speed. It's not very cold today. It's only 50 degrees. But because it's a variable speed unit with an inverter compressor, this unit can adjust the amount of heating or cooling it produces in very small increments, as little as 1% increments, anywhere from 20% of its total capacity to 100%, resulting in extremely even temperatures inside the home instead of turning on and off and cycling on and off and adjusting temperature, uh, it's gonna be modifying the amount of heating and cooling it puts into the building based on the outdoor temperature and the homeowner setting at the thermostat, giving super efficient, super comfortable temperatures. Uh, whenever the temperature outdoors, when the unit is running in heating mode, whenever it's 32 degrees Fahrenheit or higher, the furnace will not engage the heat pump will be heating the coil. We'll take a look at the coil inside in a minute. And then all the furnace will have to do is circulate air through the coil using the blower, distributing that heating into the home, which is a lot more efficient when the temperature is 32 or higher, a lot more comfortable, a much more pleasant heating sensation with stable temperatures. And then the same concept applies for cooling. The cooling is gonna be much more stable, better dehumidification, and much more efficient. Uh, Air conditioning, so we're an inverter compressor. They're typically, on average, up to 40% more efficient than single-stage units. Uh, so let's go take a look inside. So here we have the indoor portion of our equipment. It's our IntelliHeat hybrid heat pump installation from Mitsubishi Electric. So the center of attention of the system is obviously our IntelliHeat coil which is connected via refrigerant line to the outdoor unit we just took a look at. So it's a heat pump with variable speed technology, inverter compressor. We also install our new Lennox gas furnace. And in this application, what we were able to do to improve the airflow, we install a high efficiency five inch filter and added a little return on the, on the left of the unit. But again, the way this works is we have our outdoor unit, the heat pump. So because it's a heat pump, it can heat or cool. So via the refrigerant line, that heat pump is gonna be either warming up the coil in the winter, instead of firing the gas furnace, our outdoor unit will warm up the coil and all the furnace will have to do is circular air through the ductwork to get heat into the home with the huge benefit of being a variable speed system, meaning that they're gonna get variable capacity heating, meaning that the heating will go up and down in very small increments based on how much is needed based on outdoor temperature, which is gonna create very even temperatures in the home. Then we have our coil control box. It's a three-ton system. So we have a three-ton coil, a PAAA36, with our three-ton outdoor unit. And what the gas furnace is acting as is pretty much as a blower most of the time and backup heating when the temperature does get really cold, the furnace will take over. But the vast majority of days, on average seven out of 10 days, the heat pump will be doing all the heating and the furnace will act as a blower. We also have our APCO X air purification system. It has a UV light to keep the coals clean, but it also has an activated carbon cell inside the ductwork, which is gonna be trapping and containing biological and chemical contaminants. And then the UV light will destroy them. 
And here we have our thermos that is the Lenox iComfort E30 connected to our Mitsubishi IntelliHeat heat pump. Uh, pretty cool thermos that it ha that has a screen savers, so it shows the weather as an animation, but the key is that it has a really good controls for humidity and temperature. So you can if you have a humidifier, you can control the humidifier right from here. And of course, it, it has an app, so you can manage the system remotely. It's a really slick, nice finished thermostat.